Let's start off with some startling statistics. Of the six billion people in the world, over four billion of them now have mobile phones. 95% of my day I will use phone. On average, Americans spend more than 2.7 hours per day looking down at their phones while communicating and web surfing. I'm addicted to like social network, mm -hmm. so I use my phone all the time. The average human head weighs 10 to 12 pounds. When flexing your neck 60 degrees to look at an electronic device, that can put an extra 60 pounds of pressure right on your neck. That's kind of scary. I guess maybe I should text like more up. John Schultz of Optimal Performance Physical Therapy in Urbandale, who is trained in postural restoration, says that's a good start. If you can bring the device up to you rather than bringing your neck down to the device, that certainly helps. Spinal alignment is the key. You're doing a good job of keeping your ears stacked over your shoulders and your feet are providing you a solid base of support and you're not excessively tilting your chin. Neck problems are already popping up. I see it very frequently, and I think it's becoming more common. For kids, Schultz is concerned about developmental issues down the road. For older adults, it's soft tissue. They're at higher risk for soft tissue injuries. You know, your soft tissue is not as resilient as you're younger. And do you know what's really bad for your neck? Looking at your phone with your head down while walking. Schultz says, don't do it. <laughs> 